right, so I've got one more C word for you tonight. Canterbury. Canterbury is home to a creature you've probably never heard of or seen, and unfortunately, you definitely won't now. We hear a lot these days about the danger of animals going extinct, but it's not often you actually watch an entire species get wiped out. That's exactly what's happened to this precious native bug in Canterbury. But it wasn't killed by rats or by possums, it was killed by those known better for protecting nature, an iwi organisation, Ngaitahu Farming. Now, as part of a treaty settlement 19 years ago, Ngaitahu were returned this land along the Waimakariri River. That forest was the last remaining home of the Irwell beetle. But Ngaitahu has turned it into a dairy farm. The Irwell forest used to be about 7,000 hectares and they have knocked down about 98% of it now. So there's only about 120 hectares left. The beetle was found throughout that whole forest. The forest is gone, the beetle hasn't been seen for years. It is an iconic uh, New Zealand native species. I have uh, done a study in that area and have found uh, five specimens, but uh, since the uh, dairy conversion has occurred, no more specimens have been found. You can read the whole story in Farrar Hancock's newsroom piece, but here's what you need to know. The Department of Conservation repeatedly emailed Ngaitahu saying, please, please can we work together and protect these beetles, they're the very last ones on earth. But the business ignored those emails, they kept chopping, kept chopping until the forest looked like this. And people might say, well, this is just pine forest. You can cut down pine forest, but most people don't realise that pine forest is actually a really important habitat for a lot of native species. I've been reading this book recently to my three-year-old son. It's about the once life and his family who chopped down every tree until there's nothing left. That book was written almost 50 years ago, but it couldn't be a better description of what's just happened in Canterbury. It's too late for us to do anything for that beetle. But it's not too late for us to talk about what went wrong. Not too late for us to point the finger at people like this guy, the CEO, and say, how can you talk about kaitiakitanga when you've literally just wiped out a creature that was here a million years before all of us? We've lost too many native animals already, and I want to make sure that this one is one of the last. And it's not our job, not my job, to tell iwi what to do with their land. But if any private business obliterates an entire species in the course of making a profit, that we shouldn't be scared to go public about it. I'm not scared, but I am angry tonight, and I hope you're feeling angry too. At least I hope that you care, because, do you remember this line? Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not.